In a picturesque realm of 1950s television, where cherished family values reigned supreme and the wisdom of mothers was revered, Jane Wyatt graced the screen as the embodiment of maternal grace. She won the hearts of many as Margaret Anderson on the beloved show Father Knows Best. However, behind the scenes, a captivating tale of hesitant acceptance and bittersweet triumph quietly unfolded. At first, actress Jane Wyatt hesitated to embrace the role that would ultimately define her career. Yet, it was the persuasive plea of her husband that ignited a spark of reconsideration within her. Little did she anticipate what the profound impact this decision would have on her life. It catapulted her into the unforgiven spotlight, transforming her into an instant celebrity and eternally enshrining Margaret Anderson as one of the most adored fictional mothers in the realm of popular culture. As accolades flooded in, including the prestigious honor of three Emmy Awards, the world only saw the radiant facade, oblivious to the private struggles that resided within the depths of Jane Wyatt's soul. Jane Wyatt was born Jane Waddington Wyatt on August 12, 1910, in Camp Gaw, New Jersey. Her father, Christopher Wyatt, was a prosperous investment banker while her mother, Euphemia Van Rensselaer Wyatt, possessed a remarkable talent for playwriting, drama criticism, and editing. From an early age, Jane enjoyed the privileges that accompanied her family's wealth, growing up in the vibrant city of New York. As she blossomed into adulthood, her name became a part of the esteemed New York Social Register, a symbol of her high social standing. Jane embarked on her educational journey at Barnard College, where she immersed herself in the study of history. However, her heart yearned for the world of acting, and she soon found herself drawn to drama courses. The allure of an acting career proved irresistible, prompting her to make a pivotal decision. After two years at Barnard, she bid farewell to academia, venturing into the apprentice school at the Berkshire Playhouse nestled in the picturesque town of Stockbridge, Massachusetts. As Jane's theatrical aspirations flourished, she seized an opportunity to shine on Broadway, taking on the role of an understudy. Unfortunately, her pursuit of acting led to her exclusion from the New York Social Register. Yet, love found its way into her life when she exchanged vows with Edgar Bethune Ward in 1935, earning her reinstatement and reclaiming her rightful place among New York's elite. With unwavering determination, Jane made her sensational debut in the Broadway play Give Me Yesterday, captivating audiences with her magnetic presence. Her exceptional talent paved the way for a grand adventure beyond the stage, beckoning her to the enchanting world of Hollywood. In 1934, she made her mark on the silver screen, gracing audiences with her charm and artistry in the film One More River. Renowned for her portrayal of Sandra in the iconic film Lost Horizon of 1937, she shared the screen with the illustrious Ron Coleman. Throughout her illustrious career, Wyatt had the privilege of acting alongside luminaries such as Ethel Barrymore, Gary Cooper, and Cary Grant. However, her most frequent roles centered around being the devoted girlfriend, wife, or mother to the virtuous leading men of the silver screen. While Jane Wyatt's television debut did not occur on the show Father Knows Best, it was this very program that became synonymous with her name. Father Knows Best originally captivated audiences through radio waves in 1949. As the producers pondered the transition to television, they naturally turned to Wyatt, envisioning her as the ideal fit for the pivotal role of the mother, Margaret Anderson. Much to their disappointment, she initially declined the offer, leaving them searching for an alternative. Her husband, recognizing the potential of the character and the profound impact it could have on their lives, urged her to reconsider. After much contemplation, she had a change of heart, choosing to seize the opportunity that awaited her. Thus, she joined forces with the talented Robert Young, who reprised his role as the father, Jim Anderson, from the radio program. Together, they embarked on a remarkable journey, breathing life into the beloved Anderson family. The children, played by Eleanor Donahue, Billy Gray, and Lauren Chapin, rounded out the cast. 
Father Knows Best aired on Columbia Broadcasting System in the 1954-1955 season. However, to the dismay of its dedicated viewers, Columbia Broadcasting System decided to remove the program from its schedule in the following season. The outcry of protests from the show's passionate fan base was so fervent that the National Broadcasting Company heeded their voices and rescued the beloved show, granting it a new home. Yet, every tale must reach its conclusion, and Father Knows Best bid farewell to its run on Columbia Broadcasting System in 1960. However, the enduring charm of the show continued to captivate audiences as reruns filled the primetime slots for an additional three years, ensuring that its wholesome essence lingered in the hearts and minds of viewers. While the show garnered immense popularity throughout the 1950s, it was not without its fair share of critics. These voices claimed that Father Knows Best presented an unrealistic depiction of family life. Even in the later decades of the 20th century, the show faced criticism from feminists who argue that the character of Margaret Anderson was perpetually subservient to her husband. However, Jane Wyatt, the talented actress behind Margaret Anderson, held a divergent view disagreeing with the notion of her character's subordination. Beyond the show's original run, Father Knows Best experienced an intriguing revival in the form of two reunion television movies during the 1970s. The first was titled The Father Knows Best Reunion, followed by Father Knows Best, Home for Christmas. Wyatt found out how popular the show was in Peru when she found herself surrounded by fans. The sitcom aired there as Papo Lo Sabe Todo. In the vast tapestry of Jane Wyatt's career, she found solace in the realm of television and stage when the shadows of blacklisting loomed over her for daring to protest against the House Un-American Activities Committee hearings. Even her association with the Lab Theater, where she showcased her talents in plays like Volpon and The Cherry Orchard, ignited controversy and scrutiny. A notable milestone in her television journey came when she graced the acclaimed series Star Trek, portraying the human mother of the enigmatic half-Vulcan character, Spock. Her portrayal left an indelible mark on the hearts of viewers, leading her to reprise the role in the film Star Trek IV The Voyage Home. Wyatt's dedication to her craft extended to regional theater and captivating guest appearances on various television shows, showcasing her versatility and talent. As her illustrious career progressed, Wyatt found herself embodying the role of Dr. Daniel Oshlander's devoted wife on the captivating hospital serial, Saint Elsewhere. Yet, it was her unforgettable performance as Margaret Anderson in Father Knows Best that earned her three prestigious Emmy Awards, acknowledging the depth and authenticity she brought to the role. In 1990, Jane Wyatt, in an interview with Entertainment Weekly, revealed a truth that belied her most famous character's image. With candor, she shared, quote, I never adorned myself with pearls while vacuuming at home. The act of vacuuming itself was a rarity, for my days were often consumed by the demands of the studio where I tirelessly pursued my craft. In 1995, she encountered a mild stroke, a momentary setback that tested her resilience. However, with fortitude and the healing touch of time, she recovered admirably. Her determination knew no bounds, allowing her to continue gracing television and film screens well into her 80s, enchanting audiences with her timeless talent. On a somber October 20th, 2006, she peacefully departed this world, succumbing to the gentle embrace of natural causes. At the age of 96, she left behind a legacy that would endure an imprint of her talent, dedication, and grace. Goodbye and rest in peace. Legendary actress Jane Wyatt.